I have a man crush on a 51-year-old punk rocker who is only bald because he chooses to be. His name is Ian Thomas Garner Mackay, and he is awesome. Now, I'm not here to fangirl about Fugazi or The Evens or any of his bands, even though they've been awesome and game-changing as far as music is concerned. No, no, no. I'm here to talk about him as a person and his work, because he kind of exemplifies what it is to be culturally aware. Like, I wish there was a bajillion clones of him so we could fill every arts and culture related seat on every board in every city out there. Science, can we do that? You do it with sheep all the time. Let's start off by saying Ian Mackay is a badass. Anyone who has been in an independent band knows how hard it is to book shows, let alone whole tours. It's really easy to fall into that lull where you let the venues take control and you have to play according to their rules. I mean, we want to play and they're going to pay us, so they're the boss, right? My boy Ian, he's like, oh hell no! According to the all-powerful Wikipedia, his band Fugazi turned down on average 50 venues in order to play at just one. And he made that work for him. Mr. Mackay refused to play at venues that didn't offer cheap tickets to all ages audiences. And he made a living doing that, and he still is today. That's just... Maybe it's just where I live that's given me this mentality. I mean, down here in South Florida, we don't have a lot of venues that fulfill that combination. My question is, why? Most places down here that offer live music are bars and they have a 21 plus age restriction which is understandable, but in an environment such as this that doesn't have a lot of options, as I've said before, I believe the relationship between live music and booze is something that can be reconciled and not be so exclusive on the basis of age, but anyway. My issue lies with such idiocy as things like the 18 plus age restriction. Why? Just why? It's a concert, not jury duty. This is the issue by which Ian Mackay caught my attention in the first place. In an interview on NPR, a reporter asked him, why are you so passionate about all ages shows? Mackay responded by saying, well, did you like music when you were 16? Or did that just suddenly start when you were 18? The reporter was speechless and I was a little dumbstruck. I felt like an idiot. I'd never thought of it that way before. For my whole childhood, I was just drinking that age-restricted Kool-Aid, and I didn't even notice that my friends and I were being done a supreme disservice. When a band comes to town that you like, and you have the means to get to the venue and get in the door, you should be able to go to that show. Period. And this brings me to my next point of awesome about Ian Mackay, and that is the advocation for the unorthodox and the faith in the underground media. When outside forces prohibit you from doing what's right, in this case having an inclusive show, what do you do? You just obviously give up and go back to your garage, right? Like Dikembe Mutombo, Ian Mackay say no. Now all of us indie musicians have that dream of playing downtown in some big city in an abandoned warehouse in front of thousands of people, but how often does that actually happen? This guy actually did it. He used his pull with his like super awesome band and promoted through the underground and made it work before the internet. That's like, whoa. But here's my point. We live in an age of super fast communication in the internet and we have a market that needs to be filled in proper venues that provide inclusive, cheap shows. Mackay made this happen in the 80s when it was much harder to do. So today, when we can reach the world from our rooms, there's no excuse for artistic malaise. I see my city, Hollywood, Florida, and the greater Fort Lauderdale area, hell, all of South Florida, lined with venues that support live music, attracting crowds, that align with that interest regardless of age. An inclusive artistic environment promotes cultural development and big culture is the heartbeat of any city. Without that, it's just things we do. That's it. Mr. Mackay, if you find this video, I would love some pointers on how you do the magic stuff. Feel free to email me, links in the description. 
I love you. But also, to the people of South Florida and anybody out there who feels like supporting this cause, let's band together and support our awesome culture. Great art is all around us in the dark rooms and garages of talented people. Let's show it to the world by giving everyone a chance to see it. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.